Hey, what's up everybody? It's just Jay, K. Crohn's Boy from Crohn'sBoy.com. I'm actually just sitting here in Puerto Vallarta having a blast. But the reason I did this video, and by the way, I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me 100% because I'm sitting on the beach and right now I'm sitting a little bit of rocks here and I see some fishing boats and stuff behind me, but I know that there's a lot of waves so and the wind. So I apologize about the, the lack of sound, but sometimes you guys know my videos aren't always the best with sound. Cause I'm trying to talk loud, but it's, the camera's far away. But the reason I'm doing the video is I am doing the video because I was thinking I was thinking the last few days about the documentary that Reed Kimball's just been busting his butt to get done called Wanted Crohn's End. And I know the documentary is not just in regards to Crohn's, even though that's the title. It's, it's focusing on IBDs, including polite, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, and IBS, and things like celiac. But I started to realize, you know, like all the things I've been doing here, I've, been, I've just been having an awesome time with my girlfriend, and we've been doing so many things. But I look, I look back, if I wouldn't have found what I found alternative protocol when I was looking for answers, I remember going to the doctors and asking for all these alternative protocols. If, if I wouldn't have found what I found on the internet when I was searching, and the searching that I did was hours and hours of searching, I wouldn't be able to be here to enjoy, to be enjoy, enjoy all of this, enjoy my friends, my family, to enjoy the ocean. You know, so it really made me realize how important Reed's documentary was. Because for a person like me, I really, I persisted. I was very persistent in regards to finding a cure, a way to become med-free. And I searched, and when I'm in search, I spent 40, 50 hours of people trying to search and talk to people. You know, it, but the truth of the matter is that worked out for me because I was laid off at the time, so I had the opportunity to search and do some of these things. But for the average person that's sitting at home and doing that sort of thing, you know, they're busy with their lives, whether they have kids, children, wives, spouses, when it really comes down to it. That's why I think something that Reed Kimball's working on is he's pretty much working on a collaboration of a whole bunch of alternative therapies that have worked for other people and that can help people like you too watching this video or other people. I'm not doing this doing this video to to get you guys to just go buy this DVD or do whatever, but really just to support it and see the importance of it because the more that I think about it, you know, if I, if I had the opportunity to, to watch a DVD that showed me some of the protocols that helped me get better and live an awesome life and start my site and help so many people, you know, I would have done it in a heartbeat. You know how much time I would have saved if I just had that DVD? But on top, like I mentioned, I'm a lot more persistent than most people. But imagine you look at people like a 17 or 18 year old kid or a 12 year old kid and, you know, a parent walks into the doctors and they say, you know, they, they know their stomach has stomach, their, their son or daughter has stomach problems. And they say my child has my child has problems, and the doctor diagnosed them with an IBD. Well, you know, before time goes by, they might be faced with this, the solution of providing these harmful drugs, or perhaps getting an, uh, an operation. You know, because at, at the end of the day, I was severely inflamed when I first got the disease. And now that I look back at it, I could have, if I was a child, my parent, my parents would have easily said, yeah, you know, if, it's, if the doctor would have said it was best to take the colon out, that could have happened to me. You know, so I'm so grateful for being able to find my alternative protocols. And I just want you guys to just see the importance of this DVD and see how important it can change people's lives, something like this, where they, they get to see whole mission and motivation and things like this, rather than thinking like this disease is the end of your life, you know? And, and me, anybody that knows me or watches any of my footage or documentaries and things like, not documentaries, but any footage that I put out, I'm very positive and of course I get negative responses of people saying, yeah, it's incurable, this and that, it always comes back, you know? But the truth of the matter is I really don't care what all those people say that, that are in that mindset. You know what, really, like I'm more than willing to help any of them, but when I, when you circulate, when you, when you pretty much surround yourself with people that have been healed from the disease, and when I mean healed, I mean people that have been 15 years in remission, 23 years in remission, 10 years in remission, 5 years in remission, believe me, they have totally different attitudes and they won't give you that opinion. So when you're getting an opinion like this, you should definitely question who's giving it to you. But you know, so I have a different opinion like that, but the majority of the people that I get on my site say thanks a lot for the inspiration and thanks for giving me hope when I was going through these rough times, you know. I've even had people that would send me really nasty emails, but I would send them instead of instead of going with my nature, and I'm a very aggressive guy when somebody sends me a negative comment and I, I want to get mad, then I start thinking and remembering how I felt when I was when I was feeling drastic symptoms of the disease. I wasn't very happy, I was very pessimistic in the outlook in regards, in regards to a cure and stuff like that. It was only when I said, I always believed in, in uh, becoming med-free or a cure or a mission, whatever you want to call it.
call it. It was just finding it that was the problem. You know, and I think that's important, but the more that you get, the more that you improve your health, improve your condition, you start to believe. I just honestly want to say that I think I think what Reed Kimball's doing, the guy's an awesome guy, and I stand behind this this documentary, and I, and I put and I put my name on the line for it as well because I know what kind of character he is. And, well, it's not just about Reed. I know I know what his objective is is to help people and show people that we can overcome this disease. You know, and yeah, we're all gonna have naysayers. Well, like I said, if you guys can track down some people that have become men free, talk to them. Feel their lust for life, and you know, I remember hearing Jeannie Patel and Reed having a part of the documentary that was saying about just having the thirst for life, but not just having the thirst, having that ability to drink it, you know, just have a blast. You know, take a look, I'm sitting here in Port of to having a, an awesome time, you know, I'm watching some dude parachute over there, you know, I got, I got fishing boats in the back of me. This is the life, you know, I really am having a blast. I just want to let everybody know, you know what? I was sitting in position for you guys are sitting feeling hopeless, you know, whether I lost 30 pounds from the disease in a matter of weeks, I had fistulas, abscesses, you name it, I had it, you know, I, again, I have severe, I had severe Crohn's colitis and I'm sitting here living an awesome life. I just want to say, you know what, Reed, you're awesome, thanks a lot.